Man, that was awesome. What a cap to a day. Woo! All right, guys. Super windy today. Welcome to the channel. We're gonna go fishing on Cedar Lake. A little secret spot tucked out of the wind, hopefully, for the most part. We're gonna see if we can catch some largemouth bass. We'll see you when we get to fishing. All right, guys, just got back here to the spot that we're gonna fish. Um, gonna hang out just a little bit, wait on Gavin. It's a customer of mine, bought a kayak from me here a while back. He wanted to come down and fish together for a little bit, so we're gonna give it a try. Just now started casting. Looks like we're gonna find some protected areas back here. The wind is blowing like 20 mile an hour, and I would say up to 25 to 30 mile an hour gust. It is just almost impossible to fish anything that's in the wind. Here's a fish. Right here at the boat. Can't get a hold of him. Not a giant, but not a little bitty one. Got him on that bluegill Mini Max gold blade. Not bad at all. See you later. All right, so just caught that small fish. We got fish busting, shad jumping back in here. So I'm just gonna throw across here. I have no idea what the what the water depth is right here. I assume it probably is getting fairly shallow. I'm in four foot now, so I'd say this little cove's probably not very deep. But we're gonna do a little fan cast in here and see if we can't hook up with one. The shad are definitely in here. There's a fish, another small one. All right, so that's two fish kind of up tight to the bank, so. We're gonna stick with that pattern. Just a little bitty one. There's a fish. <laughs> yes, sir. A little bit better. Look at that fat rascal. Get a measurement on that one. I am in an online tournament right now, so just a charity tournament. But that one's gonna go 15 and a half. All right, 15 and a half. Fat, fat, fat. There's another fish. Man, they are back in here. Another decent fish. Look how pretty this one is. Colored up nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what this one is. All right, 15. I'm gonna get spun around here and see if I can pull another couple fish out of here. Good action so far. Love a good chatterbait bite. And it makes it nice when it's windy. They're eating a moving bait. Hard to keep a kayak still in a position. I think I probably spooked all the fish out of here. We might come back and hit this later. A couple logs in here, that's where I caught the fish at, right off those logs. Real, real shallow water. So we're gonna ease up this bank here, keep pushing, until Gavin gets here. There he is. There's a little one, I can see it. 
little bitty rascal. Doop. See ya. Oh, dry run right here for a little bit. Caught, I don't know, like five or six fish back to back when I first got here. And now I can't get another bite. I'm saving the spot that I really want to fish for when Gavin gets here in a minute, but it may just all be pushed way back into pockets. And that's where the fish were I caught while ago, so we're going to try it. Because we got another real good spot up around the corner here. That should be good. There he is. Right here by the boat. Not a bad fish there, kind of long actually. Fifteen and a quarter. All right, guys. Just picked up Gavin. What's up? He's from Central Illinois, roughly, right, Gavin? Yeah, yeah. He wanted to come down and uh, fish Southern Illinois, and. Uh, had a chance to go this week. It's a, I don't even know what, today's a Wednesday. Um, just having to work out to where I could come and said, let's go. So just picked him up. I've already caught some fish like you've seen. We're gonna get back in here, get to the spot we really wanna fish and see if we can find some big ones. Guy. guys if you're in the market for a kayak i own a company called midwest kayak company located in southeast missouri We've got all different models of hammerhead kayaks accessories things like that i can rig it out for you if you want to learn more shoot me a message check out my link in my bio for midwest kayak company let's get back to fishing there's a fish it's a big one. Well, said big one. Not necessarily a big one, but it's a decent fish. Just to make sure. And he's right at 15. Yeah, he's gonna go 15. All right, 15 inches, back in the water. Boy, you talk about a good day. First trip I made over here was like this. Caught a lot of fish. I did catch a few bigger fish, but I'm just now getting back to where I really wanted the fish. So could turn out to be a good day I think I've got five fish over 15 right now so and a few small ones cannot complain they're eating good I'm very fortunate to get to do this like I do thank God for all the blessings I've had there's another fish another small one really yellow There's one. Gavin's hooked up behind me. I just caught another one. Gavin's already caught a couple. <laughs> Man, it's fun. There's a fish. Another little one. We are smacking the small ones today. Little tiny guy. Hungry. There's a fish. 
Fisch. Another 15 inch or probably. Maybe 14. Hard to say. Maybe 13 actually. A little smaller than I thought. Get a quick check. Yep. Smaller than the rest. Back you go. Another one. Got a small one. Another fish right there. Another small one. Off you go. All right, guys, get back out of the wind here for a second. Just covering water right now with the chatterbait. I have not caught a big fish yet, and you know, obviously it's what everybody wants to do. I know it's what's possible in here. So I'm just trying to kind of figure out, sort through the small fish, see if I could find a big one or two. May have to change tactics, catch a big one, but right now just having fun catching fish, so. There's a fish. Another one that's not gonna call us up. All right guys, I'm throwing my chatterbait today on my X chatter from Yak Rods. It's the first rod I bought from Yak Rods. My favorite rod by far. Just because it, it just feels good. It's a specialty rod. It's made for throwing a chatterbait. It's made to retrieve a chatterbait and it'll fight fish. If you want to check these out, I got a link in my bio or just shoot me a message. Let me know. Let's get back to fishing. There's a fish. Another small one. Oh, spit it out. That's fine. Catch and release. There's a fish. Settle down, little guy. Another little one. There's a fish. We swam around with it for a minute. Another small one. Another little one. Man, it is just back to back fish. They're all little, but it's fun. There's another fish. My Lord. Wow. All right, guys, I'm going to sneak up here towards the main lake. It's going to be a little bit windier, but I'm going to see if I can find some bigger fish. The bigger fish I've caught have been out that direction. So I'm going to sneak back over here and see what I can find and then fish my way back in. Still throwing the chatterbait. Threw a jig for a little bit, put it down, immediately caught two fish back to back on chatterbait. So I'm gonna stick with it for now. I may just keep having fun and catching fish. It's hard to beat catching fish back to back. So let's get up here, get turned around, and start fishing again. My gosh. It is fall. Holy cow, it looks like it's snowing right now. Big gust of winds whipping in this cove, blowing leaves everywhere. I think this weather's got the fish stirred up though. There's a front coming, I think tomorrow. So I think that's why they're biting good. 
Just can't find a big one yet, but we're going to. Fishing a new stretch of water right here that I really think might have a big fish or two. So here we go. There's a fish. Took off with it. Still not a 20 inch fish, but we're catching them. There's one. Same size on a jig, different water. I don't know where the big fish are right now. Another fish on the chatterbait. Oh man, he got hung up in my freaking rope on my boat and got off. Dang it. All right guys, don't have a lot of time left to fish. So I wanna make a run right back around this corner here and fish a couple pockets where I started this morning and uh, caught some fish. So let's run back around there and try that get ready to head back so we'll get around there and get back to fishing oh there we go holy hell golly dude that that might be the biggest bass i've ever caught Wow. Well, maybe not. It's a big one, though. Holy cow. Look at this, guys. Golly. Yes, sir. Look at that freaking pig. All right, guys. I, uh, I'm, I'm definitely a little shook up right now. This could be the biggest bass for weight for sure that I've ever caught. I got it in the net right now. I'm going to clip it off, get my boat ready so I can get a measurement on it, get a weight on it and see how big it is. And then we'll let it go. 20 inches. All right. All right. So it is 20 inches on the dot. That is my PB for length. And I'm fixing to do a weight on it and uh, probably for sure going to be PB for weight. So let me get my scale out. We'll get a weight on it. And, uh, whew, man, chatterbait on the X chatter from Yak Rods. Freaking hammered it right here. Unbelievable. Look at that fish. Let's see what it weighs here. Four point seven one is what it says. We'll reset it and try it again. Make sure it says the same. If so, did not break five, but got close. Four point seven one. That is a dandy. All right, I'm going to let it go. Thanks for the fight. Man, that was awesome. What a cap to a day. Woo! all right guys if you haven't already clicked like subscribe comment down below let me know what you think about this trip if you want to know more about kayaks i've got a kayak shop in southeast missouri if you want to know more about the rods i use the, the cameras the battery backups and all the things i use send me a message look up my link in my bio we'll see you in the next video